Hi everyone, my name is Kevin. Today I wanna to show you how you can edit videos on your PC using an app that already comes with Windows 10. You don't have to download anything, you don't have to buy anything, and it's actually a pretty good, powerful app for editing your videos. Well, how do we do it? Let's jump to it. And also, as full disclosure, I work at Microsoft, but I don't work on this specific app. All right, here I am on my Windows desktop. What is this app called? It is called not the video app, but the photo app. So I'm gonna type in photos and you'll see that there's an app called photos. We're editing a video, why are we loading an app called photos? Well, Microsoft first released the photos app and they've added a whole bunch of video functionality to the photos app so you can actually edit videos with it too. A more appropriate name is probably photos and videos, but hey, it's called photos for now, so let's go ahead with it. So I'm gonna click on the photos app and that's gonna open it up. And what we wanna do is we wanna create a video and you'll see up here in the top right hand corner there's something called new video. Let's go ahead and click on that. And you have two different options. One of them is a new video project. That's where you start from scratch, where you, you just have a blank storyboard, you could drag different video files in and you could start editing it that way. It takes a little bit more time but you also have more control over the final output. There's an, also another option called automatic video where you simply provide the video files, you provide the name of the uh, video, and then the Photos app will create a video from that. The nice thing is they'll create it and you could go back and edit it. So I'm gonna do that today. Uh, it goes a little quicker and actually the output's pretty good that they uh, create. Um, so I'm gonna go with automatic video. And what I'm gonna do is I was recently in, let's see, I was recently in Oahu with my family and I took a whole bunch of video clips uh, but I haven't edited uh, those video clips yet. Um, so here's my folder with all my Oahu clips. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna select all the clips that I wanna include in this video. Um, here I could toggle between a small view, large view of all my video clips. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and let's uh, pull in all these different video clips. Um, I think all of these look good. I'm trying to see if there's some that I wanna remove. I also have some that weren't from Oahu that I still included in this folder. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and remove those uh, video clips uh, so they're not part of this video. So there you go, I have, I don't know, it might be about like 30 different clips that I'm gonna put in this video. And now what I'm gonna do is just click on the Create button. Um, here it says Name Your Video. Well, I was in Oahu, uh, so I'm gonna call it Oahu, creative name for the video. And now what it's doing is it's creating a video and here it is. Look at that. It brings back memories of the trip, it was a fun time. And what's cool is it takes the video files and it coordinates them. And so it'll actually coordinate them uh, with the music that's playing. So there's the waterfall coming down. There's a picture or video of me and my son. Uh, so it does a really nice job kind of keeping the storyline moving ahead. There's my wife uh, tanning by the pool. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna click on uh, edit video. But some of the things that you could do is you could change the theme, content, pacing. Um, so you can have them remix it. You could also choose the star of the video. Um, so if I wanted the video to focus more on my son, uh, we could do that. If I wanted it to focus more on me, I could do that as well. And uh, there's also an option where I could just export or share it. Let's say I wanna upload on Facebook or upload on YouTube, I could just hit that button and that'll export it as an MP4 uh, and I could then do anything with that. Uh, but I wanna show how you could edit the video. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on edit video. Um, and here I am in the main editing interface. If you cre created your video project as a blank project, you would have ended up here, but without any content filled in. Um, so just to orient you to this screen, uh, in the top left-hand corner, you have all of your video clips. Uh, so these are all my different Oahu video clips that I have. I could click on add if, let's say, I wanted to add some additional clips or clips that I hadn't added. I could add it from my PC or the collection. And over here on the right-hand side, this is, the, this is the actual video that it pulled together. So if I wanna go through and watch my video, here I press the play button and that would play my video in the top right hand corner. Um, and then down here is my storyboard. This is where you do all the editing of the video. Uh, and a few things to call out here. So I could add a title card. There's already a title card on here, um, but I could click that plus button uh, and that'll actually throw in a title card. I'm gonna get rid of that though. Um, I could also just add text directly to an existing clip. So there I could click on it. Um, you could choose different animated text styles. You could type in the text that you wanna show. You could indicate where you want that to show up. Um, so I'm not gonna add that for now since it already has a, a title on there. Um, some of the things uh, that you could also do, so when I look at my different video clips, um, here I see that this one clip, this number down here is how long that clip shows up for. 
Uh, so this first clip is showing up for 1.63 seconds. Uh, if I clicked on that and I go to trim, uh, what I could do is I could trim that down so it shows up for less than 1.63 seconds. So maybe I just want it to show for a second or maybe I want it to show for longer. I am, and here I could uh, trim my video file or I could basically drag and drop how long I want this clip to appear for. So I'm gonna click on cancel because I'm actually satisfied with the length of this clip. So back in here, some of the other things that I could do is I could also split a clip. So that's basically taking one clip and you could split it into two pieces. So maybe you have, you know, like a 30 second clip and you just want the first 10 seconds and the last 10 seconds. The best thing to do there would be to split it and then you could keep the first 10 and the last 10. Uh, some of the other things you could do is you could resize a video clip. So if you have black lines on the side or on the top or bottom, you could get rid of those by zooming in a little bit. Um, there are also many different filters that you can apply. So here, um, here I am in one of my clips and I could click on original, classic, pearl. Um, so kind of like Instagram type thing where you could, uh, you could apply different clips. I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna stick with kind of the defaults. Um, you could also add motion to it. Um, adding motion is very nice, so you can zoom in, zoom out. That's especially good if you're um, mixing video files and photo files and you want to create an output. You could have the, the photo files, rather than just having it be a still photo for three seconds, you could have it zoom in or out, uh, which is a really nice effect. And I'm going to go back. And then you also have something called 3D effects. And what you could do is if you want to add, you know, different, you know, breaking news, or if you want to add a comet trail, if you want to add snow or rain, there are all these different types of effects that you could add on top of your video. Um, if you want to use them, you can. It's, uh, I don't know, a little cheesy sometimes to throw them in. Um, I, I tend to like just showing the video clip and just having a good pacing. Um, what you could also do up here on the top, you could choose your background music or custom audio. So if I click on background music, um, you'll see that the app comes with a ton of different music. It looks like they selected Road Trip as the, the song. Um, there are also some premium songs where you need an Office 365 subscription, but most of them are just free included songs. And then what's kind of interesting is you could sync your video to the music's beat. Uh, so if it's a fast paced song, it'll go through your video clips faster. If it's a slower paced song, it'll show the video clips a little longer. Um, so kind of a neat, uh, neat uh, feature there. Uh, I'm gonna go back to the, the main uh, view here. Uh, something else you could do um, is they have this little audio icon. Um, that's the audio associated with that video clip on your storyboard. So if I click on that, um, let's say I really want the uh, music of the music that's playing along with the video to stand out the most, I could basically mute the audio that's associated with that specific clip. So like maybe the waterfall sound isn't that interesting. I want the sound to uh, really live up and play. Um, and so that, that's how you could create a video. You could just go through, you could basically drag and drop, uh, you could drag and drop clips uh, onto your storyboard, um, depending on where you want them to show up in your video. Uh, and then you could select how long you want that clip to show up. So it's a very intuitive way um, to show your video. Um, one thing that they don't have is there, um, there aren't transitions between clips, but I don't know, transitions are a little overrated. It's, it's nicer when you have one video clip just cut right into the next one. Um, and once I'm all done, what I could do is, uh, the last thing you see up here is um, I have this thing called Finish Video. So I could click on Finish Video. Um, you have a few different sizes. Um, I'm gonna go with the uh, longest upload, best for big screens. Uh, the reason why is if you're gonna upload it to YouTube, if you're gonna upload it to Facebook, you want the best uh, quality video possible. Um, so I would just go with the longest one. And as you can see here, you know this is a three minute video and it's going pretty fast. It renders it pretty quickly. Okay, so the rendering is all done. It took about a minute, minute and a half. Uh, I cut the video so you didn't have to sit through that. But here we are, I could view the app, I could view and file Explorer, or I could share to social media. Uh, and so here I'll play the video. So I got my music, look at that. Who's that handsome guy in that video? It looks like me. <laughs> all right, we'll skip ahead to and see. Oh, there's a drone shot of a Wahoo. Look at that, beautiful. And there's my wife and son. So uh, it turned out really nicely. What I could do is I could view and file Explorer. So there's my video, Oahu Large. Um, it's about 907 megabytes. And what I could also do is I could share to uh, social media. It looks like they, um, they have Twitter, Facebook. Um, what, all, what I could also do is if I take that video file here, um, the Oahu Large, I could just go to YouTube and then I could upload that. Um, I'll just show a quick demo of how you do that. So here I am on YouTube. Um, I would just press that plus button up here, upload video. 
And then uh, what I could do is I have it here in File Explorer and then I could drag and drop the video to YouTube and that would make it available on YouTube. But hey, that's how easy it is. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you wanna see more videos like this in the future, please hit that subscribe button. That way you'll get a notification anytime new content comes out. And if you have any other videos or tutorials that you'd like me to create, uh, shoot me a note down below in the comments and I'll add it to my list of videos to make. And hey, I'll see you next time. Bye.